<laughs> Good afternoon. This is Between the Lines Live at SanduskyRegister.com. I'm Matt Westerhold, Managing Editor of the Register, and my guest today is Jim Klein, author of this book, Sandusky Blue Streaks Football, which just came off the printing press, Volume 1, 1950 to 1979, and also with us today is the Register's Sports Editor Emeritus, Butch Wagner, to talk about everything Sandusky High School, and I'll welcome you right now. Uh, thank you for being on our program. And Butch is a veteran. Jim, uh, Jim and I know each other. And what's this? What's this? What is this? It's a present for Butch. It's a present from Butch that, uh, uh, hole in two, the toughest hole at Mills Creek Golf Course, just like Sandusky Register Sports Editor Emeritus Butch Wagner. That's going to be at hole two of Mills Creek. It is this hole two. Is, is the toughest. This is going to be at hole two. Thank you. Uh, and we'll show That's it to our nice. audience. It is really nice. <laughs> and so this is made weatherproof. <laughs> God. Why hole two, Butch? Here, why uh, don't you hold it for the, I, I the used, When I played, I can't play anymore, but when I did, I'd slice all the time, and if you sliced on two, you were in trouble. It's not easy to get the two, is it? No, it isn't. Oh. And, 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 <laughs> and that was, just, two two, that was just getting to the water, which I had trouble getting over. Oh, yeah, Mills Creek. Snusky's own golf course, and Butch, of course, <laughs> has a golf column. Thank you. Every week? During the six months, during the... Golf season and six months of bowling during the bowling season. Every week you can read Butch Wagner in the Snusky Register. Butch has been sports editor at the Snusky Register since 1921, 1927. I came to the Register in 56. 1956, two years before I was born. So, man, that's a long time ago, Butch. Thank you. And we love Butch Wagner like the community loves Butch Wagner. And thank you, Butch, for all your years of service and, and certainly the guidance you've given me over the years. You, what? you are, you are, you, you, your value could not, never be calculated to the community. We, we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much, but the story is Jim Klein. Yes, Jim Klein, a retired teacher and a, and a, a football coach, an assistant football In coach. the Blue Street Grade School program. The Blue Street Grade, Pro, grade School program is the author of this book um, about Sandusky football from 1950 to 1979. And this book, there's a lot in here. Um, <laughs> It, and it, it goes chronologically. Yes. What, what started you down this road? Well, I, I really wasn't looking for football. I was doing my dad's boxing career. My dad was an amateur professional boxer, along with uh, B.B. Bennett, Clinton Bennett, who was the first black president of the school board, and uh, Earl Ty and Gene Swain. Did your, did your and, father uh, have a nickname? Uh, Al. Al, okay. And... Uh, that's what I was doing when I started finding these articles about London Gant, Johnny Bettridge, uh, Gino Balcone, uh, Roy Gant, Al Gant, Herman Gant, London Gant, all those people. And I started saving them, and pretty soon I had a big stack of articles. And I thought, this is the makings of a book. And, and you're going to compile. No one's ever really put together a compilation of the Blue Streaks uh, until uh, Gene Kidwell did it in uh, the 60s. Okay. A book on the 60s. It was about a 50 or 60 page booklet. So. And this is uh, 275 pages? 225 pages. 200, and, yes. And there's Jim and his, you know, was this picture taken last uh, week? That was in my glory day by. <laughs> <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. That's when I still had hair. <laughs> but yeah. you were with the grade school program. Yes, for about kid. seven or eight years I was with the grade school program. And you taught in Bellevue. And taught in Bellevue. But you've always been a, a Blue Streak fan. Oh, absolutely. We used to have a group of guys. There was four, six, four, five, or six of us would go every week to a Blue Streak game for probably about ten years, whether it was home or away. And uh, and I want to read this part from the foreword to Jim's book, just to read a small portion of it. Um, every year, as fall ushers in the excitement of another approaching football season. Generations of fans and players alike 
delight in sharing their own Blue Streak memories. I hope this book will inspire you, a new generation of young men, to carry on the traditions started long ago by your grandfathers, fathers, uncles, and brothers, who grew from boyhood to manhood on that 100 yards of grass we call Strobel Field. So you're a writer. I love it. Well, I'm not the writer. The, Mr. Wagner's and a Mr. writer. Mr. Wagner but certainly I, is yes, in this Mr. In Wagner's this book. Uh, scattered through there. Many, many articles, great articles by Mr. Wagner. So is there a part of this book you like the best? Is there a part of this book that surprises you the most or as you were compiling this? What is what stands out in your mind? Uh, probably the, I'd have to say uh, the 60s. The 60s. That's because I was around during that period. But the 60s? The 60s, the period of the 60s. Sensational 60s. Sensational 60s. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, so, Butch, this covers a lot of you. You know, you started in 56? Right. I became a sports editor in uh, 64 in my first full year. First full year as a sports editor, Sandusky and St. Mary's both went undefeated. In 64? 65 and 66 it was. Huh. Dynamic duel we had it. I remember it. that, but barely because I'm a young man. Never mind. They were also undefeated. Uh, you really got to go back here. This is probably your great, 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 great grandfather <laughs> knew about this. This was 1934 when Sandusky and St. Mary's were also undefeated. Yeah. The same and, year? Uh, same yeah. year. Huh. But they didn't play as many games back no. then. No. 1934. Yes. Six games for St. Mary's, and I believe it was eight for Sandusky. Yes. So why, why do you think... Uh, what makes it so special, Jim? What, what makes Strobel Field so special? What makes this history so special? Well, I think just the quality of football that mm -hmm. was played on that field mm -hmm. uh, over years, year after year. And uh, it seems like I've known you for years. The people, the people that played for the Blue Streaks. You go through this book and you see I saw that they become names. not only very great, great football players, but leaders in their community, yeah. good professional people. Uh, and so th I wanted the book to be about the people. I stressed that, uh, and so I couldn't do any better than the articles done by uh, Mr. Wagner when he uh, made the Hall of Fame profiles for each athlete. And how long have you been working co at uh, this? About three, a little over three years. Now, remember, you told me, it's been a couple of years since you told me yeah. that you were working on Yeah, it's been over three years. And Jim is a West Side resident, but you're downtown quite often. Yes. When the weather's warm. You know. And uh, you I'd like to, uh, to state a protest today because Chuck told me that just him and I would be here, and if I knew you were here. <laughs> you think you're going to protest? Make sure that's in there, Aaron. Let's cut that part out. <laughs> uh, uh, well, the best part about it is the three of us <laughs> live within two blocks that's right. of each other. That's, that's right. Yeah, in Sandusky. He lives right down the street from me, he, across he, from the uh, soccer field. And you live right down the hall from me. Right down the hall. Oh, and my Jim God. And I, Jim and I serve on the condo board. <laughs> yes, Mr. President. Which has great leadership. <laughs> Great leadership, wouldn't you say? I'm the flunky and you're the president. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a great condo board and, and we actually, we, we meet once a month. Yes. Except not for the last few months. We have reason. good people in our condo. And we have a good time. We have a, yes. in the meeting, we take care of business and then we talk, yep. talk, 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 talk. Yeah. And then we pick on people that we don't like. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Um, so let's talk a little bit about football. Butch, you've been covering football for how many years now? No, don't tell me because I know. 60, going on 61. Going on 62. 62 years. And what, why is it so special? Why, why is football so popular? Well, basically. I've always tried to understand that. To be honest, at Friday night, when they said television, Friday night football, they came up with that. That's exactly what this is all about. Friday night was football. No matter where you went, yep. And you're in Bellevue, anywhere. It's Friday night football, and St. Mary's then played on Saturday night, or when I played, we played Sunday afternoons. Really? Yes, and we and, uh -huh. uh, we, we played some in some heat. I mean, there yes. was 90 degrees sometimes when we played. Uh -huh. But and you it, played at Strobo Field as well. Yes, we did, and 
So, but I mean, it's just the idea that back in those days, the sensational 60s is where I started as a sports editor. It was the thing to do, and everybody was family. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anyone said. There was no such thing as east side, west side, north side, yes. whatever. It was all one. And the kids were one. Mm -hmm. No matter if you were black or white, I don't care what you are, you went to those houses and you had food with them and they'd come to your house. Mm -hmm. and you, you were a participant all the way through your school. It was an American tradition. It really was. And, and we were certainly part of it. Jim? Well, you know, I was thinking the other day, one of the things I remember is walking home from school and they used to block off uh, Columbus Avenue to Wayne Street and the Blue Streak Band would march up and down their practice. This is when Adams Junior High was the high school. Right. And I'd sit in the park and listen to the band, and I thought that was great. And bands are yeah. still a big yeah, tradition was, with was, football. They yes. still march down that street to Strobel Field yes. to practice. And, yeah. and uh, you know, that's a big part of the tradition is the band's uh -huh. halftime show and the opening and then, of course, the cheerleaders. And it's it still continues. Yes. Do you, do you still, you both still go to Strobel Field? I have. I go to Stroll Field. I've been there a couple of times. I cannot go up any steps anymore. Mm -hmm. So I sit by the fence and watch it from there. And then once in a while, they'll let me have the uh, gator, the big ma machine, and I sit okay. in there so nobody's blocking my view. <laughs> and Jim, do you still get out to Stroll Field? I think I went to three home games last year. Yeah, I don't, you, the, the group that we went with is split up. Mm -hmm. I, go, I went to three home games That's last year. That's pretty good. I see Mr. Kidwell there at every game. He's a true blue streak. He, he is a true blue he streak. He marks up those steps and goes into the uh, to the uh, press box. You, the press box. Uh, Gene Kidwell yeah. is the former coach. Yes. Former Prince. principal of Sandusky High School. Uh -huh. Has served on the school board and also has served on the levy support committees uh, yes. a number of times. Uh, if you're if you're in Sandusky, chances are you know Gene Kidwell. So, uh, hello to Gene, and we should get Gene on the program sometime because he's he's a, he's a, he has stories as well. Yeah, Gene's very involved in the community. So, what do you so? You know, one thing I I've become interested. in, I don't mean to change the subject, no. but Sandusky basketball this year. Right. Um, what do you make of Snusky basketball? It's certainly a turnaround over previous years. I think Colin Irish has done one heck of a job of bringing back disciplined basketball. Yeah. And that's what they play. If you don't play defense, you don't play for him. Yeah. You no, can shoot they, all you want, but you play better play hard. some defense too. Yeah. And the big game is for the community is Saturday night when this Perkins, Saturday Perkins comes over to play Sandusky at Sandusky High. At 7.30 p.m. at Sandusky High School, it will be jam-packed. I'm sure it will be. Uh, I was at the game last Saturday, and I intend to go this Saturday, so you should get there early to get a parking space. It was jam-packed. I know. And it was a great game. They played Willard, and that team is, is owns the court. They own the court. Uh, <laughs> and they have one... Fine individual performer, Jay Reese. Oh who my gosh! Certainly was all Ohio last year, and I'm sure he'll be all Ohio this again. Well, and he year. broke Scott Bay's record Correct. this year, 44 year old record. That was 72. This, yep, yep, that would be 44 years. And it's he he not only broke it, he, he smashed shattered it because it. he's got a chance to be close to 2,000 points when it's all said and dry, and his county record. Is 2001 by Rich Davy of St. Mary's. Rich Davy. Now I remember seeing. You, you, of course, you remember Rich. Best Davey. pure high school shooter I ever saw. Rich Davy. I, you know, I was like in fifth grade when. Yes, what man. was his highest point total? Fifty-five. In a game? I was at that game, and I, I remember walking down Central Avenue after the game, just going, "Oh my gosh, you couldn't believe he could do that." In fact, that weekend, he had 50 on one night, and then he had 55 on the other night. Rich Davey in from one weekend, Dusty, he right did there that. on Monroe Street. And there was no three-point play. No, no three -point. That's no, right. That's unbelievable. That's right. Yes. Well, uh, again, you're going to be at uh, um, the Snusky Library program room at, from 10.30 to 1.30 p.m. on Saturday, February 18th. Uh, this, this two weeks from... Two, about two weeks away, uh -huh. uh, for a book signing. And you can purchase this book 
on that day. Where else can they purchase it, Jim? Well, a few people have called me, and I have you know, I met with a few people, and that's how I sold some of the books already. But it's about fifty thousand uh, you sold uh, already. <laughs> Is this going to supplement your retirement? Uh, probably. No, <laughs> I don't think so. I, I think uh, I think it'll do okay, though. I think people will be they'll like it a lot. We've well, so. got to understand. It. The library itself, how many hours that Jim had spent there? Uh, yeah, in front of the microfilm reader, I mean, till my eyes almost bugged out of my head. And uh, I'd like to point out one thing before we leave, Matt. Oh. That uh, I went to the, I went to the uh, last uh, football banquet, and I was looking at the program that night, and there were 24 men, 24 young men on the Blue Streak football team that had a 3.0 or higher grade average. And I thought that was really impressive, and the community should be aware of that, because I think uh, the Sandusky gets some negative uh, uh, information out there about the school, and I'd like to just mention that uh, I thought that was very impressive, that 24 men on the football team were 3.0 or higher in grade point average. In fact, I think the quarterback is 4.0. For the blue streaks, uh, so Jacquez, yeah, Jacquez Alexander, and that's the teacher in Jim coming out. So I, I'm glad you <laughs> acknowledged that, but also, in general, uh, the Sandusky Schools is the up and coming school in so many categories, and and this will be the year uh, the Sandusky School District begins to rebuild its its infrastructure with the new school yes. buildings investing upwards of seventy million dollars in construction in the community so it's all good news for Sandusky schools and this Saturday night at the Sandusky High School gym on Hayes Avenue you can watch the Sandusky Blue Streaks take on the Perkins Pirates beginning at 7 30 p.m. Uh, get there early because chances are it will be packed it was packed last Saturday and that was Willard well, that's a big rivalry and that, that yeah. It'll, yeah, that'll be a great time. And again, Jim Klein will be at the Sandusky Library from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on Saturday, February 18th. This book is available for a total of $25, $23.42 plus $1.58 tax, uh, cash only, uh, at the library. And for more information, should they call you, Jim? They could call me if they need to call me. And sure. what number should they call uh, you? 419-625-3847. Very good. Jim, I want to thank you for being on Between the Lines. And Thanks for having me. Thank us, you Matt. for being a friend and a neighbor. Yep. I, I do appreciate knowing you beyond your work on this <laughs> book. Uh, it's always, uh, I always have a good time uh, when we meet. It's and just, Mr. Wagner, you had something else to say. All I want to say is in that book, is one page after another of individuals who have done so much for Sandusky High School. And if just their family would buy this book, you can, you can get this as gifts as well. Yes. Makes a great Christmas gift or a birthday gift for Believe anyone me. who's played Sandusky sports, Sandusky football. You will not be now, I didn't see the part about me in here. Did you get to that? Are you in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> Maybe you're the Register Hall of Fame. Right? Do they have a Register uh, Hall of Fame? No, I didn't play football. Remember? <laughs> He was first here to be introduced. Uh -huh. He's last in that book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this uh, Saturday, February 18th, from uh, 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., Jim Klein will be at the Sandusky Library for a book sale and signing. Uh, Sandusky Blue Streaks football, 1950 to 1979. And Jim, yeah. thank you so much for being on thank the program. Thank you for having me, uh, Matt. Butch is not done. Volume 2 is in the works. Are, is Volume 2 in the works? Yes. So that would be from 1980? Yeah, and there'll be a 50 or 60 page section on Sandusky Fremont starting in 2005, which was the 100th game. Oh. And I, I thought, how can I get these old timers that my dad told me about? I don't want to leave them out. Johnny Bettridge, uh, Gino Balcone, London Gant, Herman Gant, Roy Gant, Al Gant. Keep He's going. got the names. Uh, Keep going. Uh, Keep going. Uh, King Carl Krieger, the name. Uh, Carl Krieger. The Orville and Hor Herschel Amburn, the list goes on and on and on. So now I knew uh, Carl Krieger, not the one. Oh, the umpire. This is a different Carl yeah. Krieger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. There's it's, some great football players that I didn't want to leave it's out. It's history at its best. It's history me. at its best. Well, yeah. thank you so much for both of you being on here. Thank you, Butch, for stepping on the program like you did at the end and making it better. <laughs> 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 you, you got me. 
<laughs> Butch is the original star at Sandusky <laughs> Register. What was the name of your sports program in the eighties and the nineties? Heck, I don't even know. Butch's Bits. Butch's Bits. I still have the license plate. Butch's Bowling Bits. Ah, Butch's Bits, and that's the name of your bowling column. Yes, it is. Butch what? used to stick his neck out every Friday night, and he'd yep. put the scores of all the games being played that Friday night in the area, and he'd give the scores. I predict. don't think anybody would do that today, but he, he did it. Predict the scores. Yes. Every oh, you'd predict the scores. Yes. And how did you do with that? I won, I was, I won one time. We had ended up with about four of us, and I won it that year, and I retired. I said, no more. <laughs> I, was, I won the season finale as far as the most percentage, highest percentage, and I said, I'm quitting. They used to do the whole sports crew with that. Yes, we do. Uh, along with Mark Fogg. Mark yep. Fogg would vote on him. And Mark Fogg yeah. from WLEC. WLEC. Yeah, we, yeah. we had, it was interesting, but when I won, I said, I can't go any higher, I'm quitting. I, you <laughs> know, that's a smart man, Butch. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for being on Between the Lines today. Jim, Thanks it's good to see you, you again. It's been thank a while. And, and Mr. Wagner, as always, uh, my hat's off to you. Thank you very much. And, and Jim, really... We'll do well with this book. Please, people, buy that book because you will not be disappointed and you'll read stuff that you never knew was existed. It's good stuff. Thank you very much. This has been Between the Lines Thanks. Live at SanduskyRegister.com, brought to you by Serving Our Seniors. If you need help, call Serving Our Seniors, 419-624-1856 for Erie County residents age 60 and better. That would be both of you. Absolutely. Not me, though. Thank you very much. <laughs> you done?